Hello, you sexy pipe smokers out there. Today, I'm going to show you how to save money on your groceries. And before we moved, there was a place that we used to go to called the Benton Dent. It was this little place, Amishville, uh, a place called Bloomingdale. And you could get close to expired, expired, uh, box was damaged for like a fraction of the price. It was crazy the type of stuff you could get there. We found a place like that here. So this is the third time I have been to the store and we usually get one box or a little more than one box of stuff. And it does not cost us a whole heck of a lot. Um, they do carry other odds and ends, uh, tools, clothing, basically whatever comes in on their truck which I don't know how that arrangement goes. But uh, to get started, got some of this complete fuel system cleaner, uh, three bucks. And usually this is like six or seven dollars at the local supermarket. Kids gloves, we couldn't find any kids gloves at any of the stores anywhere, so we're happy to see these. And these were, I think, five dollars. Not bad considering you couldn't find them because it's like all spring and summer shit already. It's just weird. So, coffee. This big can. Yeah, five bucks. So, just happy to see that. Cliff bars. On an entire box. Two bucks. Where's that price tag? I just went ahead and grabbed the, uh, yeah, 25 cents. You're seeing that correctly. So I just went and grabbed the box because these are what two three bucks a pop at the store Another box that's two dollars Tuna helper one dollar. It's like just you know, I had a bad day being on the shelf More tuna cheesy pasta Let's see here. I didn't pick this but lentils one dollar yeah, these things, I used to eat these all the time when I was lifting weights, and they did not cost 25 cents when I got them. And there is quite a few in here. Let me clear that out. Okay, as you can see, there's what, like 9, 10. So that was 250. <laughs> Cliff uh, Builders Protein, Cliff Bars, uh, 25 cents. These were 25 cents. Crazy, crazy stuff. Now, granted, the guy was full of crap, the dude from Bulletproof. Um, his coffee actually tastes good, so I was happy to find this for... Oh, where's the price? I know it's $4. Oh, is there a price tag on this one? No. But these were $4 a bag. Let's see here. Dented can. Not exactly my favorite. I don't recommend it. 75 cents. These are usually two to three dollars. But I don't recommend getting dented cans. So if you ever question it, you know, if you crack it open and it doesn't smell like something that you want to eat, don't eat it. That's probably the best recommendation I can give you. These Annie's uh, macaroni and cheese, 25 cents. Nothing wrong with it. Organic macaroni and cheese, 25 cents. Annie. My personal favorite, Larry the Cable Guy, cheesy tuna dinner, one dollar. You're reading that correctly. All that flannel sexiness right there, you know, um, <laughs> right to bare arms, dude. Yeah, one dollar. Okay. Got these cracker treats, 20 cents. The prices are crazy. Um, not for me. And probably the most expensive thing we bought. So let's see here. Buck fifty for salted coffee rub. I don't get it, but okay. Ginseng supplement, three bucks. Uh, immune system support complex. I figured with COVID, you know, two bucks isn't, you know, overpriced. Uh, 
needed to uh, pick up some of those. And considering that um, these usually go, I think they're like nine or ten bucks at the other store. I'm not going to complain. And one of my personal favorites, Ginkgo Biloba, two dollars. So, been eating a lot of the dry food lately. Fifty cents for dried black beans. Fifty cents for split peas. 50 cents for baby lima beans and those have been hard to come by lately so grabbed them when I could. Coming on, it's a buck fifty. This was the coolest part about shopping there today was they somehow got MREs. One of these is sealed up. Try to get some of the uh, better tasting ones. And I can't exactly read the date on these. I don't even know if that is a date. But um, vegetable stew with beef. And vegetable stew with beef. Spaghetti with Italian meat sauce. Southwest chicken with black beans and rice. Again. Check out that price. That is awesome. And these usually come, macaroni and beef with sauce. So these usually come 12 in a case. Three bucks a piece, that's $36 for a case, right? If you check online, they go for a lot more than that. And some guy came into the shop and bought 10 cases. So, so that's 10 cases, a hundred and... 20 of these for 300 and some odd dollars. Um, I, I don't blame him. If I had 300 plus extra bucks and they had 10 cases, I'd probably do the same thing. But, you know, I've already got MREs. Uh, I decided that maybe a half dozen uh, was better than nothing. But, um, yeah, I was ecstatic to see these. And... I don't know. I, I think I did pretty good. So it might not look like much, but this here, the MREs and, you know, the all the protein bars and everything. Uh, this is how much it costs. And considering what the normal price is in regular stores, this was probably like $300 in groceries. So, yeah, not too bad. So I'd like to point out uh, at the end of this video, I was listening to yesterday's episode of the Tim Pool podcast. Uh, it's also on YouTube, so check it out. I think it's TimCast IRL. Or maybe that's the other. He's got like three ch channels. But uh, the one in particular I'm referring to had um, the guy from the Peak, po Peak Prosperity Podcast. Um, he was on there, and they were talking about inflation, rising food costs, um, you know, all the crazy things that's going on right now, and how odds are things aren't going to get any better in 2021, which I have to wholeheartedly agree with them on that so in saying that has anybody else found any cool places to save money any tricks um, anything that they're doing differently in order to get by or get more out of your money considering that it seems like our money is becoming worth less than it was before it's worthless get it <laughs> so, if you have, um, feel free to make a reply video, because for some reason that seems to be pretty popular on my channel. I've gotten several of those in the past, or you could just leave a comment. Um, yeah, leave a comment, or leave a reply, whatever it is you want to do, and um, hopefully this helps out, helps out somebody out there. Uh, I don't know what things are like where you're living, but we were very happy to see this place. And the thing is, this place just opened up not even a month ago, I don't think. 
So it's something that my wife came across and it's brand new and the people who started this store are from out of town. Um, this is this store is in downtown Cadillac and um, the people who started it are from McBain, which is probably a good 20, 30 minute drive. Um, so anyways, that's about it. Just couldn't believe all the good stuff that we're able to get. And uh, considering that, let's see here, the immune support complex, and I also picked up some vitamin D, but that was at a different store. Uh, can't be too careful with that COVID out there. I don't know how many MREs are too many, but I'm pretty sure I'm not close to it. Man, you can barely see those bags. Does this help? Yes, it does. Yeah. Believe it or not, those are from the 80s. So, yeah, I think we're good for a little bit. And now I'm adding to it. Well, keep on typing.